Sure, you know, having having already been so impressed by the TD50 and uh, and the V drums, uh, you know, the modules that come with that, and how responsive they are, how expressive they are, and how much that actually felt like a drum set to begin with. Then this is just like you guys have taken it a whole step further. This is, this is amazing. shells and everything, there, there's something about it that just has that element of this is not your average electronic drum set, these aren't, you know, your run-of-the-mill modules and, and electronic drums, not that Roland's ever been run-of-the-mill, it's always been cutting the edge, but this is just completely new. And having it really like set up as if this was like, I mean, this is basically like what I'd play live on stage. You know, having two kick drums is super sick and a whole mess of toms and stuff. And not that you didn't achieve it, it was a different thing with, uh, with electronic drums in the past. But now this is like, this is what we grow accustomed to being people who are just fan of, fans of drummers from times where there weren't uh, electronic drum sets, you know? And, and so uh, this completely matches that kind of like, that lineage and history of, you know, drum sets, but matches it with a unique, present day modern you know cutting edge uh, technological developments that you know you guys are always such a, a step ahead of, of everything that's out there and this is so this is so rad that you know you're you're marrying like two different worlds completely into one I mean, it's like it's futuristic but it feels like what what I'm you know what I've been so used to my whole life but it's so versatile in the sounds that you can put through it and um, you know, the recording techniques that you, can, that you can use something like this for. So yeah, this is like, you, know, you don't sacrifice any of the things that you're comfortable with as a drummer and it just pushes the craft and the instrument into you know, new waves that we've never experienced before. There might be a conception among drummers that like, you kind of have to change the way you would play or approach the instrument if you're going from acoustic drums to, to electronic drums. But this, there's like, there's no adjustment. They're all so expressive. You can mute cymbals as you would, you know, in an acoustic setting. That's seriously impressive. So now with this new sensor, you know, development for the toms, everything just takes that next leap into expressiveness. So much of, you know, our newest record was written on V-drums, you know, it was written on, on a rolling kit. And so to be able to have stuff like that that makes the instrument even more expressive and, and just as if I was doing something that I would normally do on an acoustic kit, that allows me to check out of my brain and not think like, oh, well, I'm playing on acoustic drums, so now I gotta alter my playing. It's like, I don't have to even think about it. And that's so impressive that you guys have managed to do that. So if I wanna do a, a part that's got a muted, ride symbol I can do that and that's that's such an interesting thing to me you know a band like us we don't even live near each other so a lot of our um, collaboration happens by proxy you know I had a lot of recording things on the road and we came up with a lot of demos based on sounds that were inspiring from a brain like a TD50 clown will sit on something and 
come up with something that I would never think of in a million years and he'll lay that down and that'll become the foundation of a Slipknot song. I mean, you know, this, this looks like any kit that you would see on a major stage, you know, and, and, and these are completely built for that. Really feels like you know that that responsiveness, that body, that weight. You know, that's super important as a as a drummer. You know, playing heavy music, you want that weight. You want to feel that impact, and these give it to you.